Hello friends, welcome to Squared Plans, where creative planning and organization comes to life. I'm Stephanie and today we're going to be creating these DIY plastic covers for our disc bound happy planners. I'll be showing you guys how I took a couple of chopping mats from the dollar store and converted them into this lovely plastic cover for my Franken planner. So if that sounds good, let's get started. The actual cutting mats that I used to create this cover were from the 99 cent store. They were actually more expensive than, you know, 99 cents. These ones were $2.99 and came with one clear and one black chopping mat. I also have here my We Are Memory Keepers Power Disc Punch, along with a corner rounding punch and my guillotine cutter. And that's all the tools you really need to get things started. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is take out that clear mat and show you guys how exactly I am going to cut this down. So these ones were actually 15 inches across, if I remember correctly. So all I needed to do was basically cut it directly in half to make the two sides of the cover. So I'm just going to measure down to seven and a half inches. Get that ready. It's gonna make sure that that's the right amount. Like I said, I'm using my guillotine cutter to make sure that I can properly cut this down. I'm gonna mark it because I wanna be careful not to have any mistakes as far as cutting it crooked. So I did the first one with it flush up against the top to help me get a sharp straight edge. And then I'll do the same here on the bottom half, measuring it to that same marker and then aligning the bottom with the pencil mark I made above. So I'm just marking that too, again, to make sure that I have a nice straight line to cut this in half because there really isn't a lot of room for error. You need a cover that is seven and a half inches for a classic cover. I did this cover back in December, so I'm posting this video over a month and a half later because you guys said you were interested in seeing this process. So I do have a little bit of a shaky memory on what everything was as far as the measurements, but as you can see, just cutting that basic chopping mat in half is the very first step. And for a classic cover, it was seven and a half inches. If you have a big cover, you may need two of these to make it work. And if you have a smaller one, you'll just want to measure a little bit over the page size, usually about a half an inch over the standard page size for your planner or journal. So here I'm cutting now the nine and three quarters inch size. So a classic happy planner page is nine and a quarter inches. So I'm adding another half inch to that for the cover and that'll cover up, you know, a lot on the top and the bottom of the planner itself. And I'm cutting both on the top and on the bottom so that I don't have those rounded corners as part of my final product. That way I can round the corners myself with slightly smaller rounded corners, which is what I prefer. So now we have two rectangles of the chopping mats ready to go in that same material. This chopping mat is a little bit thicker than the ones that you get from the Dollar Tree. I've used those before to make dashboards, but this one in particular is a little bit thicker. It's also really silky which I love the feel of it. It's very smooth and silky and just perfect, honestly, for a cover for a planner because I love the feel of it. I love the thickness and the rigidity of it. Really helps protect the planner. And um, I don't know, it was really just a really great material to find for this purpose. The final product is seven and a half inches wide by nine and three quarters inches tall. So right now I'm taking this ruler to find the center mark to begin the hole punching. 
The center mark will be at four and seven eighths inches on the ruler. So you just gotta make sure you get it in the right spot because it's a little bit of a tricky number to find on the ruler. So I've just marked it there with a Sharpie because when I punch it with the We Are Memory Keepers Power Punch, I'll punch through it. So I don't have to worry about it remaining there on the sheet. And starting with the center so that I get even spacing because I've tried to do it from the top and from the bottom and each time it gets off a little bit. So the center mark is I found the best way to find even spacing for your hole punching. And what I do is I open up on that power punch, um, the like the hole punch catcher, I guess is what you call it, the refuge drawer, <laughs> and put that uh, open so that I can actually see the mark as I punch through the page. That really helps so that I can make sure I align it up and get that center mark each time. So I did that already on both and then the power punch has a little guide on the side of it so you can punch even spacing for each of the holes and I'll just go ahead and do that. It goes through this material like butter unlike regular disc punches that are a little bit too flimsy to handle these thicker materials. So if you don't have this tool yet Highly recommend it if you like to do DIYs for a disc bound planner or journal. And I just wanted to count, make sure I had the right amount of disc holes in there because obviously I didn't want to have too many punches. It looked a little bit long to me, but it's supposed to because it is a cover. So I just start with one side and then I flip it over and I do the opposite side so I can use that measurement guide throughout. And once I'm done with that, we have two ready to go covers. Just one more step that I like to do to kind of finish things off and that is to round the corners. I got this punch on Amazon. It's a really handy punch and I like that smallest size here for rounding the corners. Super easy, goes through the material really good as well, even though it's a pretty small and fairly affordable punch. Then it has three punch options, so if you'd like a little bit more rounded corner, you could use any one of the three sides. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this off. Pretty simple and straightforward, but I really love how these covers turned out. Like I said, the material is super silky. It's a little bit more opaque than some of the covers that you'll get off the shelf from different sellers, but I really like the rigidity and actually the thickness of them more so than I do the standard clear covers you would get from a paper shop. And that's it, friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. Also too, go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch and think about subscribing to my channel. If you haven't already, if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we will see you next time. Bye.